did was herd sheep and help my parents in the farming. Before that, uh, I used to listen to the radio all the time because we didn't have any TV in those days. I usually listened to the Marine program all the time. Where they fought and all that, and they always uh, happened to get the best of the enemy. When I was a, a little boy, uh, like all the other Navajo little boys, we all were sheep herders. But I didn't particularly want to be a sheep herder. I wanted to be a warrior. I would play like uh, the sheep were the enemy, especially the big rams. And I'd slip up on them and uh, overcome them. Uh, I wanted to be a warrior that would uh, protect the people and, uh, and the land. The year was 1941, and the reverberations of war stirred the hearts of boys, even to the most remote parts of the Navajo reservation. An overlooked people would step forward with a persecuted language to confound an enemy and help change the tide of defeat into victory. And then I saw the movie guy by the name of John Payne, not John Wayne, Payne. When I saw that downtown, I saw that picture and the, when I saw the blue uniform boy, I got more interested in it. So I thought, if, if I don't get a job after I graduated, I'm going to join the Marine. I had this in mind already. I wasn't intending to enlist in the Marine Corps. My plan was to enlist in what is known as the Silent Service, which is the submarine service. You see, I've been, I had been reading uh, Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. So two of us went to walk down to Federal Berlin and we reported to the recruiter down there. He asked us, what can we do for you boys? So we'd like to join the Marine. I mean, I don't think you're old enough. So I'm old enough. <laughs>